To God be the glory, and welcome to this, our real illuminating moment. I'm O.W. Prince. We find the Lord's words recorded in Luke 4 and 8, and it's obvious that he is quoting out of Deuteronomy 13 and 4, his father's law. You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Let's say that one more game. You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only, him only, him only shall you serve. God didn't stammer nor stutter. He's very clear. Only serve him, his laws and commandments and his ways and Sabbath days. Only serve him. And Yehoshua, the one commonly known as Jesus, showed us how to worship and serve the Father in the way that the Father commands and desires to be worshipped and served in spirit and in truth, in total obedience to his laws without changing one dot or tittle of the Father's laws. And the Lord did so without Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, and without any temple priesthood, tithing, religious titles, ordinations, or credentials of men. The Lord's obedience to the Father an example to us was so complete and pleasing to the father that the father would heard saying, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. And Yehoshua Hamashiach, the one the father declared as his son who pleased him well, declared that he is the way to eternal life, the way, the truth, and the life. And no one needs to think to come to the father any other way other than like he showed us and taught us to come to the Father. Let's repeat that one more game. No one needs to even think to come to the Father any other way other than like he showed us and taught us how to come to the Father. God didn't stammer nor stutter. He never commanded nor suggested that anyone serve him by joining a religious group or joining a church or religion, or by building worship facilities and nonprofit businesses disguised as places of worship. He never placed any church, agency, person, institution, ritual, or thing between us and our salvation. He did not delegate salvation through any institution, pope, religion, church, organization, or agency. We cannot inherit eternal life or get to heaven through religions or through religious means. And we certainly cannot get to heaven through the practice of false Sabbath days, gender rebellion and sexual perversions, nor through the feminization and corruption of God's commands regarding leadership and headship in the family and among the congregation of his ecclesia. We will never get to heaven practicing and serving political correctness and tolerance and serving the perverted causes of this wicked generation. Him only shall we serve and worship. God made it clear. Him only shall we serve and worship. We were not called to fit in and get along. Him only shall we serve and worship. We don't fit in here. We don't belong in any of this world's churches or religions or political parties or social groups. We belong only to God, and him only shall we serve and worship. Him only shall we serve and worship exclusively. And unless we stop being distracted by the intentional and engineered misinformation and redirection and redefinition of wrongs and rights by this world system, we will never see the need to repent in contrition and brokenness and honestly plead for God's forgiving mercy in order to be saved. If we are too proud, arrogant, and self-assured to admit that we are wrong, our religions are wrong, our churches are wrong, we are vulgar, nasty, and perverted, ignorant, stupid, profane, and deceived, then we will not repent from our hearts in earnest in order to be saved. Unless we learn to come from among the God-haters and learn to hate being manipulated by religions and politics, churches and false prophetesses and pulpit pimps and spiritual prostitutes and greedy dogs and dumb dogs and witches and warlocks and rituals and institutions of counterfeit faith, we are lost. Are you hearing me, people? Unless we learn to hate this world and ourselves, we cannot adequately and sincerely and from our heart Love God and repent. We must. It's mandatory. It's necessary. 
it's urgent that we repent. I'm O.W. Prince, and this has been our real illuminating moment. And as always in party, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. Life indeed hurts, but God heals. Thank you, God. To God be the glory. Keep looking up.